So welcome to Tracker Dash Camp. Happy Easter. And today we are going to take a little uh, stroll around the cab. <laughs> This is why my camera faces some mental breakdowns sometimes. Oh. It's not even windy outside. How did that even happen? But welcome aboard this Volvo that I drive. We have one, two, Three and four steps up into the cab. Uh, keys into the ignition. So here we are inside my uh, truck. And as you can guess, this is the steering wheel. And I have a little pedal down there so I can tilt it just like that uh, everything is shut down right now but uh, I can show you some things in the menu later uh, it's a very spacious cab um, the reason why I am planning to do this little vlog today was because I was going to install this one anyway the Blackview 650S two channel that I have just gotten. So <laughs> there will be the amount of four cameras in this cab now. Uh, one in the window, a second right up there. And I was planning to put one there pointing to the side uh, mirror on that side and on the passenger side do something similar over there so so here we are yes that was the steering wheel uh, and it has the volvo hamster steering which makes it very easy to steer in low uh, at low speeds it's it feels a little bit strange in the beginning but it's actually really really good and it's very hard to ge to uh, go back to another truck with uh, a heavy steering and uh, the gearbox is a Volvo i-shift uh, so it's a semi automatic uh, I think you would call it uh, you just put it in automatic and it will do all the work but it's still uh, it changes gears uh, like a traditional one but just that uh, the truck cares, take care of it all. Uh, as you can see, it's a very spacious truck. I can stand with no problem. Uh, there's a lot of uh, room. I have my own uh, <laughs> television. A nice, uh, comfortable bed, uh, fridge, uh, air suspension in the chair, and uh, here are some of the more technical features. So this one you have probably heard sometimes, that's the radar function um, in uh, front of the truck and I think this one also is something that works with the radar uh, it detects when uh, you are catching up to other cars or obstacles too quickly and it will it has three stages the first one is that a red light will shine up in the windscreen and the second 
is the noise you or the beeping sound you hear sometimes. <laughs> the da -da 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 wow, that was the worst. <laughs> well, I tried. Mm. Um, maybe I could put it in. Am I so good I could edit in that sound? I will try. But if I am that good, it will sound like this. Uh, and the third stage is that the truck will actually brake itself. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool feature, uh, but it does sometimes react to situations that aren't there. I remember one incident that happened just when I got the truck and I haven't installed uh, cameras yet. Uh, the road was turning slightly to the right and in front of me there was a car that had pulled out before me so I was pretty close to him but he was in an exit lane to the right uh, to the left but of course the truck didn't know that my lane was turning right it uh, so I had the car just in front of me and then thought that I was going straight for it. And just when I was starting to turn, then all hell broke loose. <laughs> and it, uh, beeping sound, uh, flashing red lights, and it, poo! Braked really, really hard, and it freaked me out. <laughs> well, maybe I can turn this one on so I can get some lights in here. Uh, let's turn off the air condition. Oh, wrong. That was the breathalyzer. We will get to that later. Now it all system starts here. Oh, music coming on. Let's turn off that one. Well, uh, so that was the radar. Uh, this is. Um, uh, the reversing um, beeping uh, warning sound uh, hill hold if you are starting in uh, a steep um, uh, uphill it will uh, hold the vehicle until you hit the accelerator pretty neat but I I don't really use it, use it so much uh, here is the uh, three different settings for the air suspension and there's actually a little warning um, and uh, note on the reason I can uh, <laughs> this is actually one crazy story uh, about this why I put that warning on as you can see it's in the lowest uh, suspension height at the moment but well I'm gonna let you in on a crazy story. If you can see me. So, when the truck was two days old, I hit a bridge in doing 80 kilometers an hour with a two year old truck. <laughs> and I was, how the hell did that happen? Because so in Sweden we have something that's called free height. Uh, so on highways, free height is 4.5 meters. So if a bridge or an obstacle is lower than 4.5, they have to put up a sign telling you how high the bridge is. If it's above 4.5, they don't have to put up any signs. So uh, you never build a truck higher than 4.5 because it's impossible to know uh, if you will get under the, the um, tunnel or bridge or whatever it is. Um, so this truck was supposed to be 4.48 uh, but somehow <laughs> they built the truck 4.64 so that's no good. 
uh, it was in the right air suspension mode everything was nothing was indicating anything so wrong I was here. approaching this bridge that was 4.5 with my truck that was 4.64 uh, as you can guess that didn't work out very well <laughs> but lucky enough the truck was like tilted uh, forward a little bit so when the bridge if the bridge is here the, the front of the truck made it under but the back poof. and so there was no uh, damage to neither the bridge or the truck but uh, it scared the hell out of me <laughs> uh, and um, I have no idea how they uh, was able to build the truck so high and how it didn't get uh, noticed during the delivery service. Uh, looking back on it, of course, I should have uh, measured the, how truck how uh, high the truck was, but I just couldn't imagine that they had failed so big. So. Imagine that call to the boss. Hi boss. You know that truck you bought uh, two days ago? I just crashed in it into a bridge. <laughs> well, no, 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 Andreas, you didn't, but... But everything turned out well and the truck went back to the factory and they... <laughs> cut it down, so it, now, now I can pass under bridges. And uh, we are moving on here, so uh, this is on the same topic. Um, I can raise the third axle on the truck, but that also makes it a little bit higher. And since it's so close to uh, the edge of 4.5, I just never do that. Uh, here, I could, uh, there's a button where I can... Um, um, push over weight from the third axle to the driving axle that makes us get better tra traction when it's slippery. Here is uh, traction control, differential lock if you get stuck. Um, it makes both driving wheels turn at the same speed. Um, Audio phone. This doesn't um, doesn't have fleet management or navigation, so those don't work. Actually, we have. This is pretty cool. I th I really think all heavy trucks should have this. A stereo, yes, that too, but. So, uh, camera. This camera one that's back on the truck you can see my little forklift hanging on the back beginning of the trailer and if you push twice here we will come to camera two which is the rear of the trailer it's really good when you are backing or when you're reversing into a, like a tight spot and you want to see how much further you can go that's pretty uncommon I think actually so moving on to the driver position, well I guess it's pretty much like in your regular car, uh, stereo, cruise control, I have, so I have, I have, not, I have mentioned it before, um, the GPS um, cruise control which as a map inside the truck so it detects if an uphill is coming it will accelerate before so if it's set to 80 it will maybe go up to 85 before the hill and uh, if it's a downhill it will uh, release the accelerator and uh, go down to like 72 73 and uh, use the downhill to speed up that's it pretty cool feature but uh, it can make people behind you a little bit uh, well they wonder what you do but it's not me 
Uh, fuel, add blue for cleaning uh, and exhaust gases, temperature, date, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I could also actually see how much uh, load there is. So now we are have combined weight of 40.4 tons and here is every single axle how much weight and the trailer it's pretty cool feature and we have uh, heaters and uh, all kinds of different figures Uh, here if that's for low sun uh, curve lights which I don't use really a little roof hatch <laughs> a really really little <laughs> roof hatch And uh, here is the mechanism for the trailer. Green light means it's locked as it should be. If it's red light, that means it's not properly locked. So, as I said, it's a really spacious cab. Very modern. Um, but it has some features that I don't understand. So, Volvo is a truck made in Sweden north part of Europe and this is supposed to be your cup holder or drink holder and you know how we are in Sweden how what what was they thinking how will my cup holder fit in here it's terrible huh Just some space. Here's some. I uh, usually don't sleep uh, in the truck, but if I need to, I'm well prepared. <laughs> um, oh, candy stash. You got to have a candy stash. And what do we have more? Some um, cheap uh, uh, dash cams that had failed. <laughs> and hmm, Victoria's Secret Passionate Kisses Trucker Fragrance. That was strong. Ooh, mm. Oh, and I got it in my mouth. All empty. A lot of them has been about this breathalyzer. So, this is not. Uh, by any law or anything like that. Um, heavy trucks don't need to have them in Sweden, but it's uh, a new company policy on all uh, on all new trucks they buy. So this is how it works. If I put the ignition on. Going to let it start up. So, if I now try to start, nothing will happen. Um, because this hasn't been activated. 
So you have to blow for five seconds. Start engine. So now we will be able to start it, but I don't want to waste any battery. <laughs> um, so that how that works. Uh, a lot of other questions is about my horn, <laughs> which I know really really sucks, but. The funny thing is, this isn't standard, this is optional. There are three stages. This one is the, the like original horn. This is optional and then there's a third option that I should have gotten but for some reason I didn't. So you want to hear the standard Volvo horn? like road runner or something <laughs> meep, meep. so I can just show you a little quick look under the bonnet or what you want to call it um, cooling fluid engine oil and the stick <laughs> and the track they are very long very very long Whew. Hmm, so let's see. That was a good amount of it. Well, <coughs> hmm. let's try to get this one in here. Shoo. Um, for your windscreen. Uh, so it's <laughs> I understand it's pretty hard to reach the window if you want to clean it but just pull down that one and you can climb up mm -hmm. I think that was it <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so terrible at this and this uh, vlog kind of uh, thing but uh, I do my best so just before Easter I had the daily uh, daily inspection I'm not sure how that works in uh, the rest of the world if you no, you can tell me about that, but I think I will uh, put that little video in behind this one. Uh, so once a year on all heavy trucks, they uh, check uh, your brakes, suspension, steering, um, to see that it's fit for fight on the road. Uh, they checked both uh, truck and trailer that time, so it was a big inspection, but that was it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, next video, I guess, will be a regular dash cam uh, video.